So far in the United States, 34 alternative energy companies that received federal support have gone bankrupt or are faltering and laying off workers. As can be seen in the following news clips, two major players in the electric vehicle market were among these companies. A123 Systems, a battery supplier for many electric vehicle companies, recently filed for bankruptcy, along with Fisker, an electric vehicle manufacturer which utilized A123 battery packs in their automobiles. Another energy company that received federal funding is filing for bankruptcy. A123 Systems, which received $249 million in a federal grant, filed for Chapter 11 today and will sell all of its assets to Johnson Controls. It could be Solyndra all over again. Another Obama administration giant blunder, another company backed by the U.S. Energy Department. That means your tax dollars is reportedly preparing for bankruptcy. This time, it is an electric car company, Fisker Automotive. Taxpayers, yes, let me repeat, that means you, could be on the hook for $192 million. Now electric vehicle sales have not been high enough to sustain these federally funded companies. The main deterrents in the purchase of electric vehicles are the cost of the vehicle and the range, or lack of, that can be traveled per charge. The government has attempted to stimulate electric vehicle sales through tax incentives and credits. A $7,500 credit is available for most electric vehicle purchases. SolarRoad has solved these problems. SolarRoad has many innovative solutions to the range problem of today's electric vehicles. Our Electrofuel Nanoscale Battery will revolutionize the electric automobile industry. The storage capacity of this battery is unmatched. The best part? When your battery needs a charge, you can just switch it out for a fully charged one, right at the gas station. The vehicle will have a carousel inside that will rotate and hold up to 12 Electrofuel batteries. The Electrofuel battery will be recharged by another of SolarRoad's inventions, solar film. Solar film is a nanoscale generation and storage paint that can be applied on anything, including automobiles and roadways. The reason the gasoline car has such a long range is the number of gas stations that are available to refuel a car quickly. The electrofuel vending machine could be in place in every gas station in America very quickly. Even recycled vending machines could be used. This would give the driver of the electric vehicle the security of knowing he can go to the same place he now uses to fuel up, the gas station. We have developed several ways to increase the range of the vehicle itself. We have developed a solar paint, solar film that can be sprayed on any surface and is 77% efficient at the conversion of sunlight to electricity. SolarRoad intends to install battery vending machines coated with solar film in gas stations throughout America. They will dispense electrofuel batteries. There will be a one-to-one -one exchange. One depleted battery is returned and one fully charged battery is taken. The depleted batteries will be completely recharged by solar film. This is the first 100% green, large-scale electric vehicle range solution. In addition to spraying the car panels with solar film, we will spray the roadways as well. An electric vehicle driving over this strip will be able to charge its batteries through induction. The strips in the road will be tied to our ElectroWall infrastructure energy device on the barrier walls, making the highway a tremendous generation and storage system with many applications. By utilizing the grid kicker and ElectroWall tied into the solar film strips painted in the roadway, we will have a massive decentralized alternative energy grid tied together through existing infrastructures on our nation's highway. This ensures that every watt of electricity used in an electric vehicle will come from a renewable source. The solar film in the roadway will act as a generation and storage device, literally electrifying our highways for use with electric vehicles or other power application. Since it is composed of nanostructures, solar film is extremely durable, much more durable than laying down glass panels in the roadway for electrical generation. It may outlast the pavement. 
There are currently battery exchange programs for electric vehicles, but they're not economically feasible, costing $500,000 per charging station. There are between 250 to 300 people on average who get gas every day at each of America's 167,000 gas stations. The cost to install enough battery exchange stations to keep up with vehicle demand would be astronomical. Installing just one battery exchange station per gas station would cost over $83 billion. This clip shows just how time-consuming and impractical this system is. The cost of the infrastructure investment required for this alone should be a major deterrent. There are much more cost-effective and efficient battery exchange station technologies available, such as the solar film-coated vending machines proposed by Solar Road Technology, and it's quicker than plugging into a charging station for hours. The battery system for today's electric vehicles, as you can see from this clip, is extremely large and heavy. This is due to the fact that wet cell chemistries are still being used. The Electrofuel nanoscale battery uses no liquid electrolyte. This leads to many advantages in the charge and discharge of the Electrofuel battery. The Electrofuel battery will be much safer than current electric vehicle batteries as well. There are no chemicals utilized that can overheat, causing fires and explosions. This will also greatly reduce the curb weight of the vehicle, which is a major range limiter. Today's electric vehicles are also not as green as they claim to be. You need to plug them into the grid to charge. The grid is mainly fueled by coal-fired plants. Although the environmental impact may be less than driving a gasoline automobile, it still exists. With electric fuel, every watt used to charge the battery has come from a renewable source. The electric fuel system is much quicker and more efficient. Just open your fuel door, switch out the discharged battery, and replace it with a fully charged cell. Currently, the whole nanostructure commercial industry is ramping up. We can be the first using our methods to produce cost-effective PV storage using only nanoparticles. Our cells can pass charge in parallel through the cell walls, unlike conventional batteries that have to be charged via electrodes. Having electronic charge circuitry adds considerably to the cost of lith-poly cells, such as are being used in today's electric cars. Battery balancing circuits, charge level controls, cooling systems for the batteries in cars, and charge-discharge circuits are all necessary for the safe operation of current electric vehicle batteries. Solar Road's electric vehicle will not have a battery sled. In fact, the entire car will be the battery, from the windows to the body panels, even the chassis. This car can also be fitted with an atmospheric hydrogen motor, which can electrolysize the atmospheric water vapor to supplement electric generation. The following clip shows just how vast the highway infrastructure is. There are over 4 million miles of roadway in the United States, providing just over 8.5 million lane miles for highway travel, according to the Federal Highway Administration. There are many thousands of miles of Jersey and Sound attenuation walls surrounding major highways. The highways account for 163,843 miles of the vehicular transportation system in the United States. The majority of the surface transportation infrastructure is currently maintained by the federal gas tax. By installing electro wall and solar film on roadways, tax could still be collected from smart electric vehicles, which will monitor how much charge was used from the induction roadway system and then report to the taxing entity. Funds from the money saved on highway electrical usage from traffic signals, highway lighting, etc., could also be put back into the roadway upkeep and maintenance. In conclusion, electric vehicles are on their way back from their early retirement. We can expect to see them in increasing numbers in coming months and years. An efficient and unlimited range solution will need to be put into place before the electric vehicle can replace the internal combustion engine. Solar Road has the technology to enable and commercialize this transition.